Welcome to App Design Tips. I want to show you a few features that can help you become a prototyping ninja in Figma. So as you can see here, we have a few basic artboards, a home page, frequently asked questions, and then a few drop down instances here. So nothing special yet. And we're probably all familiar with the basics of prototyping where we can select one element and click on the circle and we can connect it to another artboard. And when we do that, we can hit play here and we can simply see when we click home, it switches artboards. So that's easy. But when we come back here, how about we link these up as overlays? So we come back to the home page and let's bring this starting page right here to home. That's what we want. And now we want to link this about us to this drop down because we want it to drop down. So as soon as we do that, we can come back into our artboard here. And as soon as we click on here, it switches to that artboard, but there's no overlay. So there's a few things we need to change here. So we have this linked up still. And then on click, we have this set on default, but we wanna set this to overlay here. And then instead of center position or top left or bottom center, we wanna create a manual position. And we wanna move this directly under this guy here. And now when we come back to our first artboard and we click about us, we can see that that's working a lot better now. But we can use some different states. Real quick, if you're new to my channel and wanna see more tutorials and videos like this, please subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon so you're notified of future videos. So instead of on click, maybe we have a while hovering. So now when we come back to our artboard, while we hover over about us, then that pops up. But there's one problem with this. If I bring my mouse down to select the beginning or any of these other menu items, it's going to disappear because I have while hovering set up. So I can instead choose mouse enter. So that's while the mouse enters this region, but not when it exits. So now I enter, but I can go anywhere I want now and that's going to stay. And if I come back here, I can set frequently asked questions, for example. I can set this to link over to this. And so once we set that, we can come back and we can try to click on that now. And as soon as we click on that, we have that same problem. It's not going to overlay, but switch directly to that artboard. So instead of doing that, let's go back into these settings and let's change a few things. First of all, we want this to be a hover state. So we want while hovering and then we want a swap. So instead of switching to this artboard, we want to just swap these overlays. So now that we're going to swap these, we go to about us and we can see that it's swapping that entire artboard here. And that's what we want. So now we can select this frequently asked question and then choose when the mouse is down. So mouse down, when we click our mouse down, it's going to turn darker and mouse down again. We want this to swap. So we're going to choose swap. It's going to swap to this one. So we're swapping from here to here to here. And then this frequently asked question is finally going to bring us to the FAQ page. And we want this to navigate and not swap. So now we hover over about us. We hover over frequently asked questions or hover off and that looks the way that we want it to. And now when we click FAQ, we're taken to the frequently asked questions page and we can jump back to home. So those are a few great tips, but now that we're on the FAQ page, let's see how we can link this about us up. So if I click this circle now and I drag it over here, it's going to remember that last time this was an overlay. So it's going to save those same settings so we can quickly link up five, 10, 15 artboards and have that same thing. So now we're on home and that works. And if we click on FAQ, we can navigate to the same thing and do FAQ. And so that's how that works. Now, you also may notice as I scroll, that nav bar scrolls up. And so this is one other prototyping tip that you might love. So if I select these two nav bars, I go back into the design, we can click fix position when scrolling. And as soon as we do that, we can come back in here and notice that that navigation stays fixed on top of the screen and we can still access all of our drop downs, exact way that we had them set up. No matter where this scroll position is, we can still access that. That's it folks, I hope you enjoyed these tips and again, be sure to subscribe to my channel.